Hey guys, I am Trent for Trent Sense, and I am here to unbox a brand new review unit sent to me by Walmworld, and it is the Nokia E7. Okay, here we have the retail packaging for the Nokia E7. You have a picture of the phone here along with branding. And on the lower right-hand corner, you have a signed autograph from the CEO himself. The front face of the E7 is dominated by a 4 inch AMOLED display made of Gorilla Glass, which is also enhanced by Nokia's Clear Black technology. As far as I know, Clear Black technology is all about reducing the overall reflection on the phone screen to give you deeper blacks. This in turn enhances the contrast to make whatever you're looking at much easier to see, especially outdoors. Above the display, you've got branding along with a thin earpiece hugging the outer rim. Now to the lower right hand corner of the earpiece, you've got a secondary VGA camera lens. And then to the left of the earpiece, you've got a light sensor along with a proximity sensor. Below the display, you've got a tactile menu key which has a strip in the center of it serving as an LED notification light. On the right side of the phone, you've got your sliding tray for the SIM card, as well as a sliding volume rocker key, which also controls zooming functions. And then you also have a tactile button for the camera. And the left only displays the lock switch. On the top, you've got a micro USB port with an LED indicator for battery charge. Next to that, you've got an HDMI port a tactile button for your power, and then a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. The bottom features printing of information as well as the main microphone on the lower right hand corner. On the back you have a loudspeaker, engraving of the Nokia brand name, a fixed focus 8 megapixel camera, dual LED flash, and a secondary mic for active noise cancellation. The E7 also features a sliding mechanism for a hardware QWERTY keypad. I really was never expecting to ever run into this particular phone. I really thought that I was going to get to a point where I wasn't going to be that excited anymore about the E7. But I was wrong. Um, I finally had the E7 as a review unit from Walmworld Nokia. And um, I have to tell you guys, I have done the happy dance through my house. I did a couple of cartwheels and I ended up screaming throughout my living room. And the way that I'm feeling right now, there is definitely no doubt that I am extremely excited to finally be able to see the E90 communicator successor in the flesh. Um, I, wow. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, uh, come to find out the graphic that is on the packaging sleeve is actually personalized to my blog and a quote that I had made a while back about the E7. I really have to say thanks to Walmworld for, uh, for doing such a nice gesture uh, to me and to many other bloggers that have received the exact same kind of treatment in their unboxing unit. Okay, after taking some time to get everything set up with my E7 review unit, I have to admit that, guys, I literally had an intense nerdgasm in the first time that I held this device in my hand. There is no doubt that Nokia is still the reigning king when it comes to overall hardware quality in the build of its mobile devices. If you are familiar with the N8 and its hardware quality with the metallic components blended with the solid plastics, uh, the E7 is no different than the N8 in that regard. However, uh, what makes the E7 so special is the sliding QWERTY keypad. Uh, thankfully, Nokia decided to include four rows on this keyboard, making it a bit bigger and not as cramped as the N900. 
900 or the N97 or the N97 Mini, which is great. Uh, the space bar is finally in the center where it belongs so that, you know, typing feels a lot more natural. This is very near perfect when it comes to tactile feedback. Um, it's not too loud or noisy or clicky and it's not too soft either. It is just right in the middle. Um, and it reminds me of the HTC Touch Pro 2 keyboard. Basically, Nokia has hit a home run with the E7 keyboard and I am very eager to get my practice in using it uh, in writing out a review with QuickOffice. Now the overall sizing of the E7 make it much bigger than the N8 and even a little taller than the Samsung Captivate and my Motorola Atrix. But at the same time, I believe that Nokia still did a pretty good job in maintaining the device's overall thinness, especially considering that it's got a sliding QWERTY keypad. My first impression of the clear black display is that it is truly amazing when it comes to just looking at the UI of S3 all over again. Um, I really have to say that looking at movies and pictures may well indeed be a contender to the Super AMOLED display that I used to have on my Samsung Captivate. Overall, I'm expecting my experience on the E7 to not be any different than the N8, except for the addition of the hardware QWERTY keypad and the addition of the fixed focus camera at 8 megapixels. I was never a big fan of the fixed focus lens on the back of the phone. I'll just have to wait and see if it can measure up or be sufficient enough to take over the autofocus units that I've been so used to. I also have a concern about the lack of micro SD expansion on the E7. Um, this may not come into play in bothering me during the review and it may not be that big of a deal but we'll have to wait and see. Now, in addition to finally having a sufficient keyboard with Symbian S3, there is also another pleasant surprise with the E7, the dual LED flash on the back of the camera unit. Being that it's dual LED and not xenon like on the N8, that means that I can finally have a flashlight function on the phone. I think I may have a potential successor to the legendary Nokia E90 in my hands right now, but um, over the next two weeks I will be more than happy to dive into this and to keep a log through Quick Office that will eventually be uploaded to my blog. So. Um, with all of that being said, oh, 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 more good news. Womworld has also invited me to come along with them as their guest to the CTIA wireless event in Orlando, Florida from March 22nd to the 24th. So it will be my first time out to such a huge event. It is an honor to be invited by Womworld to such a huge gathering of tech enthusiasts. And um, I hope to gather you know, a lot of pictures and maybe even video from the event. Uh, with all of that being said, I'm going to, of course, take my time in reviewing this E7 device and have all the fun that I can out of it. And um, I will tell you guys to take care and stay safe.